Modular arithmetic today. What does that mean? Well, we're about to find out. Example, how many co-prime solutions does the following equation here have? Co-prime solutions are solutions that only share the number one in common as a factor. And 3x plus 1 congruent to 20 mod 12 is a fancy way for saying when is 3x plus 11 minus 20 divided by 12 still an integer? We're about to find this out. Alrighty. So, 3x plus 11, we know, is congruent to 20 modulo 12. All right. We are allowed to use some of our regular rules from algebra, so we can minus a 20 from both sides. Minus 20 here and a minus 20 here. And we are left with 3x minus 9 is congruent to 0 mod 12. All right. Lastly, we can divide everything here by a 3. The modulus gets divided by a 3, this gets divided by a 3, and this gets divided by a 3. And we have x minus 3 is congruent to 0, you got it, mod 12. Four. Now we want to know how many integers x is x minus 3 divided by 4, an integer. And that's all. So x minus 3 divided by 4, we want this to be an integer. The easy money first is when x is equal to 3, and that's because the top becomes 0. 0 divided by anything is 0, which is still an integer. All right. Next in line, typically they're going to be moving up in increments of 4. So let's test x equals 7 next. Well, if x equals 7, 7 minus 3 is 4. Divided by 4 is 1, still an integer. So we have 3, we have 7. Let's test the next one, 11. 11 minus 3 is 8. Divided by 4 is 2, still an integer. So 11 works. If we go up another 4, we get 15. 15 take away 3 is 12. Divided by 4 is still an integer, however... 15 and 3 are not co-prime. So that's all. The only answers for x that are co-prime to one another are x equals to 3, 7, and 11 for the given congruence.